بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Isaac Maimon and from today onwards every week we will be going through the brief sira of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Before starting the sira we must explore its meaning Sira came out from the word sara which means to travel What do I mean by traveling? Well, when we study his biography, we are actually taking a trip through his sallallahu alaihi wasallam's amazing life. And an important thing to know is that the word sira is only used for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's biography. We should also make sure to say sallallahu alaihi wasallam or peace be upon him whenever we say or hear the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name though there are many purposes of reading the sira i will be discussing only a few points it is an obligation it is a command by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the quran in chapter 33 verse 21 was rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam is our role model So in order to follow him we need to know about him helps us to understand the Quran you would understand the Quran better if you know the sirah well it empowers our iman and faith it boosts our with immense power our iman so my dear friends let's begin with chapter 1 a very special trial More than 1400 years ago, a very special child was born in the desert of Arabia. His mother's name was Amina and his father's name was Abdullah. Before his birth, an angel came to his mother and told her what to name her son. His name would be Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, meaning praiseworthy. And so in 570 CE, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born in the city of Mecca. It was a large town, but it was difficult to grow many plants or foods. When Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born, people belonged to tribes. A tribe is made up of a group of families related to one another that support each other. Within these tribes are clans that are smaller family groups. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's family belong to the tribe of the Quraysh and to the Banu Hashim clan the Quraysh were powerful and wealthy because they arranged for caravans to come and sell supplies to the Meccan and this brought money and business to their city sadly muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's father died before he was born so muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lived with his mother who remained under the care of his parental grandfather Abdul Muttalib Amina's family lived in a city called the Yathrib Once when he was about 6 years old his mother took him there to spend time with her family Traveling between cities was difficult in those days and the journey lasted a few days Amina became very ill on his journey and passed away Now Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a young child without a father or a mother but he had a very loving grandfather who looked after him for 2 years until he passed away from old age Then Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's eldest uncle Abu Talib looked after him Young Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was thoughtful kind and caring He played like other children but was never unruly. He did not hurt other kids or say bad things. He always listened to his elders. He spoke well but was not overly talkative. He had friends and family who loved him and he loved them. Still, perhaps because his own mother and father had passed away, he was alone in a way, unique He would observe things and think about them from a very early age. He would also think a great deal about God. 
Jazakum Allahu Khair for listening to me. See you next week with a new episode, inshallah. Oh, and my sister has started a Quran series. You can go to listen to it in the link in the description below. And then you can benefit wholly. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.